Hello, and welcome to this edition of Eat Right with Rouse's. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker here in beautiful Rouse's. And you can't enjoy Rouse's without your favorite dietitian, April Sins. Hello, April. Well, hello, Keith. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely. I wouldn't do it any other way, Sparkle. So we're very, very <laughs> glad to have you. Uh, so what a great time of year to really celebrate food and enjoying stuff. Oh, absolutely. I love the summertime. I love that uh, Father's Day is coming up. And it's a great time for families to get together. And, you, you know, Rouse's has everything that you need. Yep. So you can stop at Rouse's and just make your outdoor entertaining super easy. Yep. And that's what we're going to be talking about is just okay. making your day fun and easy. All right, let's do so, it. So Yeah. So the first thing I want to remind everybody of is get your Rouse's little styrofoam ice chest. If you're going to be doing any cookouts if you're going to be going somewhere we have those uh rouse's ice chest we have the ice you know make sure you get all those things to keep your food cold food cold yes okay keep it cold and then we want to keep our water cold as well grab your bottled water from rouse's there's all different kinds um, highlighting the electrolyte water right there but there's so, so many different kinds of water and so you can definitely grab your bottled water we want to stay hydrated mm -hmm. You can also grab some skewers for some meat and vegetable grilling. That's another fun way that you can enjoy some grilling options and just kind of keeping it really simple and easy where everybody can get a meat and a vegetable all on one skewer. I love that because it kind of like makes our plate a little bit more balanced, right? Right. So it's some and, really great options. And it's fun. And you can let it's you fun. can let people do that. It's like, all right, who yes. wants what, right? Yes. And so they get to choose. And, they, and then you can kind of make sure that we're doing just the really good vegetable options with the meat. For sure. I mean, peppers and onions and um, mushrooms, they're all so good on a skewer with mm. the meat option. Um, just, you know, it's, it's a delicious way and fun. And like, you could even take some fruit and put it on a stick too. Right. And right. you can, you know, have your fruit option. Fruit kebab yeah, on a pine, stick. Pineapple, lots of different oh, things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So you could definitely go to the Fresh Cuts area at Rouse's. You can grab already cut fruit. Mm. You can grab some even already cut vegetables. You can even find, sometimes you could find the the skewer with, that's already so prepared, prepared for you too. Right, and it's actually right behind you. Uh, yeah. Ahead, a previous shot, Aaron, it is right behind <laughs> April, right there in our shot. It's just perfect. perfect. Right, right. So I think you got some other uh, tips yeah. for us, some yes, beverages. Yes, absolutely. So I have some really fun ways that you can also be creative in okay. your outdoor. So we, we all know about barbecue and we all know about, you know, how we can get around the grill. But what are some other fun things that we can do? One thing you can do is, this is a really cute idea, is whenever you are have you have your drinks, if you want to, like, prevent, like, you know, sometimes you get some little bugs, bugs flying around, bugs. things like that, you could take a little cup kick liner and put mm. the straw through it put it on top of the drink really great way to keep your beverage covered yeah um another thing too is you can create a diy self-service area like a taco bar or a salad bar you know you can do some different little things like that to really spice up the fun in in, in your outdoor entertaining Oh yeah, you put that you put that cupcake cover on there, and now it's very festive. You feel like you're at the beach. Oh yeah, you know you kind of yeah. bring the beach to the barbecue. Oh for sure, it yeah. looks so fun. Yeah, it's inviting. It's very right? neat. Yeah, it's very neat. And then you know one of the most important things to do is to keep food safe. So we can have the best food in the world, with best options for our outdoor entertaining, but the thing is, is if we don't keep it safe, as far as keeping cold foods cold, keeping hot foods hot. Um, thawing properly, mm -hmm. doing all those things with the food temperatures properly, then, you know, yeah. it's it's not going to be, you could have the best food in the world, but if you don't keep it uh, right. in the right temperatures, it's not going to be good. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you are, um, when you're cooking, that you're taking your food te food temperatures wh while you're cooking. Right. You want to make sure you're cooking your meat to the proper temperatures, which that can vary according to which types of, of meat that you're going to be cooking. Right. You can find some great resources on that on uh, FDA.gov. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. they have a lot of resources on there. Another thing, too, is for cold items. Whenever you have your cold items, you want to make sure that you are keeping those over ice. Right. So anything that's supposed to be cold or that you buy cold, you want to keep that over ice. Right. You know, you want to make sure that those food temperatures are proper and that way those 
foodborne illnesses, you know, aren't yeah. as likely whenever you're doing that. Right. And again, you got to be careful about doing outdoor stuff because you're bringing cold stuff outdoors. And so it's a great idea to get the ice chest, keep everything cold that you need to, but also check those temperatures. Know what they're supposed to be. If you're cooking beef, it's one temperature. If you're cooking pork, it's a different yes. temperature. If you're cooking chicken, chicken yeah. it's a di those are all three different temperatures. They are. That you should do things. And for yes. shrimp, make sure they're opaque. I mean, yeah. you know, just the, that's kind of how yeah. that rule goes yeah. uh, to be able to do that. But you also you want to be able to have fun right. and let's do it safely. That's right. always the goal. Exactly, exactly. And you want to also prevent cross-contamination. So if you're fooling with raw meat, you know, you don't want to go and touch something that's going to be ready to eat and you're going to consume it right away. So you want to make sure that you're not cross-contaminating too and just keeping that food safe and that way everybody can have a good time. Yeah, you nobody know? needs to get sick. Right, right. Because, you know, we want to celebrate with, you know, our dad. June is his Father's Day yeah. month and we really want to celebrate that and celebrate your dads, your grandpas and your uncles, whoever yes. they may be, you know. Uh, that, that special time for them. So a very happy Father's Day to Chris and to oh, the family. Yeah. And, and so I know that's important for that. My, my siblings and I have already talked about uh, exactly how to make that special. Yeah, and so yeah we're absolutely. Well. And, and, and you could go to Rouse's and you could find so many items that are so convenient. You can get the some of the best meat selections that you mm -hmm. can find around or at right there at Rouse's at your fingertips. So make sure you do all of your shopping at Rouse's to go grab those delicious items for your Father's Day meals. That's right. Bring the indoors, outdoors, go enjoy, do it safely, mm -hmm. keep everything at the right temperature and everybody will have a good time. Uh, thank you for joining me here in Rouse's where we can get everything that we need for our outdoor grilling and barbecue yeah. next. Thanks so much. All right. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular edition of Eat Right with Rouse's, but don't go anywhere. Love our local programming right here on HTV.